In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to recharge and pressurize a Class A water can. So the first thing we need to do is ensure that there's no more pressure left inside the water can. So squeeze the handle and ensure that all the pressure is out of the can. So once you've ensured that all pressure is out of the can, what you're going to need to do is take a large adjustable wrench or a pair of channel locks. I recommend the adjustable wrench because it's not going to mar this nut but you're gonna to need to untwist this nut on the stem of the extinguisher. So I like to take my feet, squeeze the extinguisher at the bottom. Crack that nut loose. Once you get it cracked, put your adjustable wrench off to the side. Lift up on the stem a little bit while I'm threading the nut. Now we can remove this stem from the fire extinguisher. All right, now what you need to do is find yourself a garden hose, something to fill up the can with. And what you need to do first is pull out this plastic collar. Basically, what your goal is, you're trying to fill this fire extinguisher up so that the water's at the very bottom of this collar. And the rest of the space in the extinguisher will be for compressed air. So my technique, I like to gently place this inside the extinguisher. I'm gonna turn on the water now, start filling up the water and then when it hits that line, normally either the collar pops up a little bit or I get a splash of water coming up. May need to dump a little bit out, but you understand what the goal is. Just burped out. I'm gonna shut off my water. What I'm gonna do now is take my cell phone, turn the camera light on, just take a look at where the water level is. I see I need to dump out a little bit. No big deal. We'll dump a little bit out here. Check the water level again, and that is perfect. That is right at the bottom of that collar. All right, now that we have the water can filled up to the proper level, we can go ahead and reinstall our stem, gauge, handle, and nozzle assembly. And then we can take this nut, start threading it onto the can. But it's also really important you pay attention to where the hose clip is on the can. It's on the right side. So we want to make sure that that hose stays in line with that hose clip right there. And as I thread this nut down, I like to give the handle a little push down and wiggle to ensure that everything's going down evenly. That's about as tight as I can get it by hand. Yes, I know the gauge is cracked and it needs a new gauge, but it is what it is. All right, so now that I have that nut tightened down by hand, I'm gonna take the hose, put it in the hose clamp on the side here. I'm gonna take my adjustable wrench, again, using my feet to kinda lock the can in position. I'm just gonna take my adjustable wrench and tighten down this nut. So that's as tight as I can get it by hand. Now we'll take this back over to the shop and fill this can up with air. Now before I add compressed air to this extinguisher, I'm gonna reinstall the pull pin just to ensure that I don't lose any progress that I have made here. So if we flip the extinguisher around 180 degrees, we'll see that there's a little valve stem cap. So we'll unthread that cap, put it off to the side for a moment. Turn the extinguisher back around so you can see what's going on. But basically, you're just gonna fill this extinguisher up like a tire. And what you're looking for is for that gauge to go in the green, which indicates that the extinguisher is properly charged. So with some compressed air, start charging this. I'm gonna watch that needle. And now that the extinguisher is properly charged, we will reinstall this valve stem cap. And this fire extinguisher is ready to be used. 